All right, guys, I've got another iPhone 6 case for you. Uh, this one was handed to the wife by a friend, and a very good friend, because they're not uh, cheap, these, actually. Um, so this is it, anyway. It is the Otterbox uh, Defender uh, series of case. Rugged protective case. Uh, you've got, it's for the iPhone 6, as you can see, and uh, give you a quick shot of that so that you can scan that in if you want. I'm assuming it'll take you to their uh, website otterbox.com and this is the defender series made for adventure so it's a rugged three layer protective case for demanding conditions heavy use and random accidents so by that i'm assuming it's okay to drop it and no i won't be doing a drop test the phone's already got a cracked screen so let's uh, get into it and have a quick look so open it at the top here now I've, I've never fitted one of these at all um you know, I've held them and all that, and, uh, but I have never ever put one on a phone. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, we've got a belt clip there. So we've got a clip on. I'm assuming that just, yeah, that just clips off there. Right, so that's uh, actually, I'm assuming that'll rotate as well, but you would as one would assume that would rotate, but I'd have to check more about that before I went uh, forcing it. So there you go, shows you quickly how to uh, put it all in there because obviously you have to strip this down now and it's in a few different parts. So let's have a quick go at it then guys. Like I say, never fitted one before. Feels extremely tough. Um, it's got some flex in it now of course, but that's because there's nothing in it. So let's have a look. So we've got this silicon outer section that I need to sort of get off first. Um, now I'm not a lover of these sort of things myself because the, ma the main and the main reason for that is the uh, it, it's always such a faff sort of charging them up and things like that. Do you know what I mean? It's right, so let's, that's it. There we go. So we're in. It, yeah, it's it's the whole. You know, you've got these sort of port covers on, and you know, and you've got to sort of undo them to plug it in, and it's, it, they just seem so much of a faff. Obviously, though, if I did a lot of um, sort of sports like snowboarding, skiing, you know, anything sort of like a, that might be quite dangerous to a, a dropped device, you know, then you know, then yeah, I'm I'm going to consider one of these. Then I think so. But, uh, you know, until I start doing that, now obviously that's left open, so this isn't going to be a waterproof case, guys. So do bear that in mind, because of course there's no protective layer over there. So this one isn't waterproof, it's protected there and protected there. Uh, obviously that's going to be open, and it's got one of those little rubber covers over there, so I'm assuming... Oh, it's because the phone's been restarted. So it obviously recognises the Touch ID, which is a good thing. That's unusual, actually, because the, these usually stop the Touch ID from working. So, right, anyway, we've got that piece on. And you can see that all, like, your... You can see where all, like, your covers and stuff like that's going to be. Now, I'm assuming your speaker's going to be open on this one because it's not a, a waterproof case as such. I mean, obviously, it's going to give you some splash-proofing around the front. So... It's obviously going to need a lot of massaging this to uh, get it all into position. I mean, it's going on easy enough, don't get me wrong. You know, it all seems very straightforward and, and easy so far. In fact, I would say it's easier going on than it was taking it apart, to be honest. So, let's, uh, yeah, that's all going in nice and easily. And it's just a matter of closing your ports up and things. It seems to be easier with the ports open. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all fastened in. So, sleep weight button. Absolutely no effort required there at all, really. Uh, that's, yeah, my thumb won't reach that. So that's going to be a, you know, a finger, a little fingernail, something like that. That just eases in there nicely. Yeah, you know, there's there's very little extra effort required there. You've got plenty of room for headphone there, 
um, probably better than a lot of cases actually so I would say you'd get to it's even giving you like a little bit of rounding there you'd probably get an L shaped in that as well uh, yeah plenty of room around that I'm quite impressed with that actually most cases wouldn't offer you that much room uh, you'll notice that they've also left a little opening even when that's closed you've got a little opening left for the microphone there so obviously you can still record with it uh, while it's uh, closed up ample room there to get into your charging port and sync port so absolutely ample room there that all closes up nicely and then your speakers left open so overall uh, once it's on this has actually alleviated some of my thoughts about that because there's actually plenty of room there and those port covers are very easy to open and close so that they'd be not as much of a faff as some of the ones that I've uh, sort of considered in the past yes it adds considerable bulk to the phone but if you're the kind of person who uh, drops it a lot and uh, yes my daughter I am talking to you then you know that is a very solid case um, that is going to take some some really big impact to be honest guys so let's have a look uh, yeah I mean the swipe screen still you know the swipes and gestures are still working fine on that so yeah I'm perfectly impressed with it perfectly impressed with it guys nice logo on the back and I know they've got plenty of colours to choose from with Otterbox uh, that colour blue maybe not that colour I'm more of a I would either go with something like a, a bright yellow or um, or I would just head back to the standard black they would be my choices but obviously you know with this being an out and about case if you dropped it somewhere you'd want it to stand out so bright yellow would probably be more the way to go I think but yeah uh, really quite impressed with that actually guys more impressed than I thought I would be so that is the Otterbox Defender series all links will be left below um, if you're a rugged kind of person that goes out a lot get yourself one guys I'm very impressed so that's it from me guys see you in the next video cheers guys see you